Divine Feminine, this is Akia from December's Divine 555. I'm here to bring a inspired message. I feel that a lot of Divine Feminine are feeling a lot of intensity in their emotions during this time period. A lot of you may be feeling the energies of others, possibly your Divine Masculine, pulling on your energy And I want to leave you with this message from the divine, encouraging you to be inspired by everything around you during this period. And most importantly, to trust your intuition there is a great deal of manifestation happening during this period. This message is about your courage and your path, but I need to let a group of divine feminine know that there is a divine masculine who is very intense on manifesting a connection as well as some truth a divine masculine is coming forward to his divine feminine and there will be a union very soon Okay, Divine Feminine, you're at a place where you are ready to take life by the reins and ride it like A multicolored unicorn with wild abandon onto your purpose and you're ready for a whole new beginning with a number zero here and you are completely inspired by the knowledge and the idea of the unknown and what that will bring into your life. This is Aries energy. To clarify it, we have the Three of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, fire and earth energy. You are ready to take some action, you're inspired and you are manifesting 
a whole new beginning in your life. You're ready to discover everything that life has for you in terms of spirituality and in terms of material gain. The Emperor, number four, stability, balance, and security in the material world. You're ready to stand in your power. This is more Aries energy, divine masculine energy. You're ready to lean on the structures that are around you. At this time, it is safe for you to ask for help, to depend on the tried and true, to utilize the structures that are around you, the institutions that are around you, because you are manifesting at a high rate and doors are opening up for you in high places. Or this could be an Aries or a divine masculine who is ready to stand up and be the strength And the support, the protector, that you need to clarify the Emperor card. The Hermit in Reverse. So this could either be you, Divine Feminine, ready to come out of Hermit Mode, out of Reflection, ready to apply what you have shown, shine the light on, what you have learned about yourself, and ready to take on the world with that full energy. Or this could be a Virgo. Divine Masculine. That has went within and is ready to apply what they have learned and use it to embody this emperor energy or this could be someone who used to act on instinct alone and has now went within to try to shine a light on their own actions and how they have gotten to this place and is ready to step up and who wants to actually build an empire with you. Divine Feminine, Nine of Fire or Nine of Wands. You have had many burdens and you have come quite far on your journey. 
and now you're taking the time to really reflect. You have worked so hard that you want to be certain about the next steps you're taking on your path. You are ready to go, but you are going to take some time to reflect to make sure you're making the right decisions. Even if there is a divine masculine who has went within and has learned and is willing to make an offer, you are at a place where you are really applying the past and what you've learned to any decisions that you make. This is really turning out to be a dual message. This is fire energy. This is Sagittarius energy. To clarify, it is the sun. You want complete fulfillment there is something that you have found that brings you back to the innocence and the joy of being a child, a passion, a purpose that goes beyond any union. And you do not want to be set back from that path. So the crowning card is number two, duality. Your spiritual self, your shadow side, your light side. You're going to use your intuition. You're going to use your intuition about what is coming into your life fast and furious and surely because things are happening quickly and manifesting quickly for you divine feminine you got the two of earth pleasure business purpose it's time for decisions an earth sign Virgo Capricorn Taurus someone has went deep and someone has also made a sure decision Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles and the Death card. Someone has went through a transformation, has accepted that transformation, Scorpionic energy here, and someone has decided that they're going for their Ten of Pentacles. Complete fulfillment, growth, prosperity, and manifestation. Okay. Possibly an earth sign with water energy or um, someone has made a decision about a Scorpio. An earth sign has made a decision about a Scorpio and they are um, they're going for their complete fulfillment they want to manifest the situation and it could actually be any sign that's just the energy I'm picking up on from these cards based on this decision that has been made someone has made a decision about 
a Queen of Cups, an intuitive, loving, giving, feminine energy. A compassionate, generous, healing energy. This is you, Divine Feminine. Someone sees the self-love and the compassion. Someone sees you as their protection, as their emotional counterpart, and they are manifesting a union and they're manifesting this connection and they have made a sure decision after going through a transformation that you are their wish fulfillment. Knight of air. Someone is charging in with truth, no longer wanting to oppose this love that brings them nurturing and healing. They want to face the truth about their love and they want to manifest a beginning and a life. This is Virgo, Gemini energy. Air energy with this message of truth. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. And once again, we have water energy with the Queen of Cups, Queen of Water here. Virgo or Gemini, Divine Masculine energy is manifesting a connection in the truth with this Queen of Cups. An Ace of Air, Ace of Swords. The truth can no longer be denied in this connection. Bottom of the deck. Prince of Cups, Prince of Water, Messenger of Water. A real offer of love is coming. Someone is coming to heal or to be healed by this connection. Someone is coming to heal or be healed by this connection. Someone is coming to this Queen of Water to bring inspiration, truth, and love. Someone wants to balance out this connection. And again, they are manifesting this connection. Divine Feminine, you're going to use your intuition about this connection in your higher self. Or with the roles reversed, this Divine Masculine has used his intuition. You both are going to be using your intuition during this time. Clarify the messenger of air. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Someone knows that not delivering truth and not coming forward with truth has not given them any rewards. They're digging themselves into a deeper hole. They cannot manifest the situation without bringing truth. And without bringing truth, they will never 
receive their fulfillment. They would never manifest. So they have transformed. And they're coming with the truth. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, the truth will set this connection free or this person bringing the truth forward will be freed by this truth. In the past, there has been no overindulgence, unfaithfulness, disconnection this person cannot create this person cannot manifest their emotions are not balanced and they've only been able to manifest that same type of energy into their lives so now they're coming with truth. They have taken time out to manifest, I'm sorry, to um, meditate, to focus on what it is that they need to do with this Four of Swords. And they know that victory will come once the truth is revealed. Six of Wands. Someone is coming forward with truth and walking into victory happiness this could be an offer of marriage this could be a just a recognition of this connection that someone has not had for quite some time and this truth is going to really give someone confidence to redirect their life and have true balance and victory. And we're just going to clarify the um, the Knight of Cups, Messenger of Water. Clarify the Knight of Water. Somebody has had to defend their truth. Somebody
has been indecisive in the past, has been cruel with their words, manipulative, almost abusive. The only communication has ever been cruel, biting, and lacking. That was the challenge of the past. They were always defensive and they struggled with inferiority complexes and fear of being judged. If they were open about their emotions and their love. But now they found the strength in their coming to heal and be healed by this connection. Bottom of the deck. Eight, I'm sorry, nine of water. Divine Feminine, you are someone's complete wish of fulfillment. Their Nine of Cups, their joy. Their satisfaction. You bring harmony to their lives. You bring balance to their lives with the temperance. Divine Feminine, you could be a Sagittarius. You bring balance to this person's life. And they are bringing you justice with the truth. Three of Wands, again, there's been a decision. And action is being taken to move forward in this connection. The end of a cycle has come and there has been completion. And someone is ready to move forward to accomplish a goal after a huge burden and they're ready to take a leap of faith they're ready to manifest and grow and have a prosperous, secure connection. with you. Because you are their world and this is complete confirmation that a karmic cycle has been complete and somebody has a deeper understanding All efforts have come full circle and fulfillment is imminent.
we'll leave it at that. For a couple cards here from the universe. message for the divine feminine in regards to moving forward in the situation The Divine wants you to know, Divine Feminine, that you are going to be moving forward, whatever you decide, with the Six of Air here, Six of Swords. You have the Divine supporting you with those Eagles, and you are moving forward because you're equipped and you're ready. Three of Earth is three of Pentacles. You are at a point in your life where you are ready to work and collaborate with others to manifest your goals and your dreams. Despite challenges outside conflict, you are at a point where you are manifesting at a rapid rate. You're going after what it is that you desire. Outside, outside conflict will not affect you. You have overcome this and you will continue to because you are the queen of fire. You are the queen of wands. You will trust your intuition you are passionate. You are competent. You are creative. And you are passionate. And you will trust your intuition. Well, that's the quick inspired message I have for you Divine Feminine whether this is an, a career opportunity or a <clears throat> Divine Masculine coming you know forward this is just an example of what it is that you're manifesting at this time in your life many many opportunities okay but either way you're moving forward You're full of water. People see you as compassionate, loving, and giving. Someone is inspired to bring a true offer of love. Because you are someone's happiness and wish fulfillment. messenger of air and ace of air someone is coming in with truth that is going to be freeing someone is manifesting the truth And someone is manifesting this connection. Someone has went within 
and is moving forward with a whole new perspective. Someone has transformed and is coming for their complete fulfillment to manifest happiness and security. This, this is a blessed situation and it's a balanced, balanced situation with the temperance here. Complete fulfillment and happiness is imminent for you, Divine Feminine. You are the Queen of Wands. You are the High, high Priestess. Despite what someone is trying to manifest... You are nine of the fire, nine of wands, been through a journey, and you're taking the time to be certain of which way you are going. But either way, there is going to be victory and there's going to be forward movement. Remember who you are, use your intuition, and all will be well. I hope this message finds you all in love and in power. I love you guys so much. Stay inspired. Know that whatever direction you take to use your intuition as you walk right up to the sun and know that a cycle has been completed and all your efforts are about to pay off whether that's in your spiritual path, your career, or in love. Stay confident and know that these decisions are never easy, but you have done the work and you're ready. The Queen of Wands is always ready because there's a knowing and there is power. Even in the twilight of the darkest and coldest night of December, remember, you'll be fine. Nothing can stop what's truly divine.